Now to NFL star rookie Jameis Winston. Making headlines on and off the field, Winston had a big game on Sunday and also threatened to sue CNN for airing a documentary about sexual assault on college campuses, featuring the woman who claims Winston assaulted her. ABC's Mars Giavacampo is here with that story. Highly controversial. Yes, it is. Robin, good morning. Now, Winston had a great night. The Heisman winner having a career high, but also possibly a personal low last night. His attorney saying that CNN documentary manipulates, misstates, and omits facts, presenting a quote, false narrative. Caught for the touchdown. Overnight, Tampa Bay Buccaneers Jameis Winston making Winston's NFL pass. history, tying the record for most touchdown passes in a single game by a rookie. But off the field, he's playing defense. The 21-year-old threatened possible legal action against CNN before it aired a documentary this past weekend, revisiting long-standing rape accusations against the quarterback. His attorney accusing the network of making a, quote, reckless decision by choosing to air The Hunting Ground, a film focusing on the issue of sexual assault on college campuses, featuring former Florida State University student Erica Kinsman, who claims Winston sexually assaulted her in 2012. I kind of just want to know, like, why me? Winston has denied sexually assaulting Kinsman, saying the pair had consensual sex, and he has never been criminally charged with rape. His attorneys telling CNN that they believe the network has actual knowledge that the film is replete with factual errors, adding that the film manipulates, misstates, or simply omits facts to present a false narrative. But the network aired the documentary overnight, telling ABC News it's standing by its decision to do so. I think what's so powerful about The Hunting Ground is we actually get to see her as a three-dimensional person. As for the quarterback's legal threat to CNN, the accuser's attorney is firing back, telling ABC News overnight, Mr. Winston should get used to the rape allegations against him because film or no film, they aren't going away. Now, Kinsman has also filed a civil suit against Florida State University and one against Winston, and Winston has filed a countersuit against her. The CNN documentary did air as scheduled last night. No word yet on whether Winston will move forward with that threatened suit against CNN. For their part, CNN says they're hoping to open the dialogue about sexual assault on campus. They, they're hoping this film will do that, but it has come under a lot of scrutiny. It has created a lot of dialogue, a lot of discussion. And then someone else, wasn't there others that were objecting yes, to it? Yes, the film is not just about him. It, mm -hmm. And that's the, the point that CNN is making, is they're hoping to broaden the discussion about sexual assaults on campus. But of course, it tells his accuser's story, which for him is the key point. But then a group of Harvard law professors are also criticizing one of the other segments in the piece as well. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's come, there are a lot of questions surrounding this. This is a documentary that premiered earlier this year at Sundance. Now CNN has just aired it. And we will see if Winston's going to move forward with this suit. He did not want it aired on the cable channel. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Thank you very much. You. And you can read and see much more about the story on ESPNW.com.